Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Mike the Muppet Modeler here, and before we get going, I'd like to say a massive, massive thank you to all my subscribers, new and existing. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here doing this, and even sometimes when I am doing this, I'm contemplating why I'm doing this. Um, so um, it's you guys that keep it going, thank you very much. Um, so, on the bench, various parts have been given the red oxide. Um, I'm just about to get some other bits sprayed up ready. Hoses and the like in Megamo's 0033, the rubber and tires. I've been giving it a good shake. Will, this colour will give a nice contrast to the um, black on the ends and the silver for the uh, connectors. Silver or brass connectors from going by the the diagram I have it's brass so I will decide whether to do brass or silver I do like this colour, I must admit.
lovely. That's worked a treat. I'm really well pleased with that. this colour. Because that looks really nice. And it will look nice. So ideal guys, whenever you buy anything that comes in a box packaged with polystyrene, just keep some of the polystyrene. Works straight for stabbing your crocodile clip sticks in. It works really, really well. Right then guys, uh, we'll leave it there for a second um, while that dries up and then we'll get some detail painting done. So I'll see you in a bit. Right then guys, let's uh, attempt some detailing or some detail painting. Let's see if I can bring you in a, a bit is that too close I'm going to try and get some of this detailing done and finished so that we can So that we can get some bits added and move on. said uh, in a previous video I'll do the silver straps first because it doesn't matter if you go over because the uh, the black in this case the rubber that's underneath these met what are supposed to be like metal bands uh, can paint the black up to the silver covering any um, bits where you've gone over and I like that Do like that. I 
obviously you can be as careful as you like, it doesn't matter. Have to excuse the neighbour. I think even just painting these metal bands makes it look a bit, makes it look better. Get the other one back out again and do this, redo this bit. I didn't do it on the other one. There's only a half this side. The other half is already on the engine. I do have to, uh, um, when I say at the beginning of the videos guys that I, I appreciate it, everyone watching, subscribing, I really really do. The, uh, views have been steadily going down so uh, what makes me appreciate you guys for watching even more that
I'm happy with that as well. Now what have we got? Do we have any? Yes we do. to get into a comfortable position. It doesn't look too shabby, I don't think. Right guys, I can't see that you would want to sit there and watch me doing the rest of this detail painting. So uh, what I'll do is I'm going to pause you in a second and I'll bring you back when it's time for fit in all these lovely pieces so I shall see you in a while bye from now see you in a bit hi guys just wanted to show you this quickly um, just moving forward while everything else is drying um, there's two pieces here which I'll just um, I thought right we'll get that get them cut off the sprue, get them cleaned up, get them ready to go and the fit is sublime, it's absolutely amazing you just push them in basically look at that, that is absolutely top draw both of them and it gives you that view down the back of the engine absolutely beautiful absolutely sublime if you like unreal unbelievable and wow just wow really it's uh, coming together nicely so um, yeah gonna get on with a bit more detail painting now and uh, we'll come back for fitting all those little tiny fiddly farty parts see you in a bit right then guys let's see if we can now put some pieces into place let's 
Start off with two easy bits. Hopefully. lines up nicely and the other one to go to the other side Marries up lovely. Right, then we have these two pieces here, which are which are pre-painted, obviously, the other day. Now. This one then. Should have dry fitted it again, shouldn't I really? That's the one, that's the one we want. Exactly how much of this you can see, guys, but it needs to go there. And just push into the hole where I can. Some glue. Then we have the engine as it looks there. Really nice. Right, 
then we have these two parts here. One. Two. And I think they go on there. Like so. And I want that there and that there. And that one there. So, and these have to go. So that can't be that one. It can't be that one. nice but it's, it fits quite snugly so that'll be good and then this one we go to the other side bit more painting to do to match the lower half or the engine portion off shall I say <coughs> but they will fit nicely These two parts I'm not going to fit on until those ones are dry, I don't think, because they have to go underneath. So I need to do a little bit of painting there and there. So I should leave that. This bit would go in next, but I've still got some work to do on that. I've painted the straps, so once that's dry, we do. I'll do the rubbery bit and the um, ah, what colour was it? The rubber and tyres colour for the rest of the pipe work and then that will just slot in there basically like so And we're pretty much reaching the end of the uh, the engine bay now. It's just a few little bits left to do, but I've just cut this piece off the back plate, and there are 18 ejector pin holes that I'm going to need to take care of. If 
five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, sorry, twenty. Excuse me. Injector pin marks. So um that's the outer face. I suppose really in a way I probably don't have to really do the lower these ones because that's not going to be ever, ever be seen but if I do it so that I can take the top off then these will need to be dealt with so uh, I'm going to fill those in now with a bit of uh, Mr. Dissolved Putty and then when that's dry I can rub that down and then I can give it a spray over with the red oxide and it should be ready to go along with these two side panels as well so I shall leave it for there for now guys and uh, it is coming along hope you can see and um, I can show you actually, I can put these back on. That fits in there nicely, quite nice and tight. Fits in there snugly the bugging around. And this one fits on this side. Exactly the same when it's in the right place. Needs a little bit of coaxing, but uh, how cool is that? That looks really smart. So, yes, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye for now.